This is not a drill. Tech and Sports The Goat has released his first YouTube video. And I thought to myself, let's give it a great British review. Let's see whether he really is what he claims to be. Number one on eBay. I'm convinced he is. Let's find out. Okay, so here we are, Tech's video. I'm gonna make it full screen and we're gonna check it out. Let's see what Tech has produced. Now, this is the second time I've watched this video. What I'm gonna do at the end is come back to you guys and talk about what kind of things I'm gonna implement into my own business. And I've got myself a nice British cup of tea. No better way to review Tech's video than with a cup of tea. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's see what he's all about. Make it full screen. Let's see. I want to pause it straight away. Um, this was such a genius introduction to his first video. The second highest search on Google is tech and sports space. It's always been that thing for people outside of the group about what does tech look like? Is he real? Is he AI? A lot of people hear his voice on the podcasts, but not a lot of people see his face unless you're in the group. And uh, it's quite funny because this is the first reveal to everyone else outside of the group what he looks like. So. Yeah, tech, genius start. Straight in with the music as well in the first video. Love it. I mean, I'm not into trainers, but look at all of these trainers here as well. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. A lot of you may know me from the podcast that I do with Chris, Daily Refinement, or from the Reseller Podcast Facebook group. Or from Instagram. I'm going to show you exactly how I sold millions of dollars on eBay and became the number one seller in every single men's clothing category, selling pre-owned clothing that I got from the thrift store, from the flea market, from garage sales, starting with my last $35 as a single dad and started building my business 15 years ago. The first item that I sold on eBay was actually a T-Mobile sidekick that I bought I just want to stop it here. So yeah, Tech spoke about this quite a bit with regards to the T-Mobile sidekick being the first item he purchased. Hence the name Tech and Sports. It used to be technology and sporting equipment that Tech used to sell. So a lot of people do ask, how did he get his name? And that's how he got it. But yeah, anyway, $35 is what he started with, which for us UK people, it's about 30 pounds. And it just goes to show you don't need thousands and thousands and thousands to kickstart this business. You can literally start with zero, sell things around the house, make some money, and just keep reinvesting it. And uh, yeah, text the best example of this, $35 into millions. Bought off of Craigslist for $35 and sold back on eBay for $70 the same day. Something clicked and I was off to the races and eventually became the number one seller in shirts, sweaters, jackets, polos, button-ups, pants, shorts, hats, NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, NCAA, vintage, and if you are thinking of another men's clothing category, I was number one in that too. What tech was showing there is something we all have access to, by the way, it's the listing quality report. So we all have access to go and see where you rank in your different categories. But for tech to remain number one for so long is incredible. It's not just for a week, not just for a month. We're talking years that tech has been number one. And he's always said to people in the group, challenge me, knock me off that number one spot. Give me something to challenge you with. And no one's managed to do it, and I'm not surprised. I did eBay at the highest level for about 15 years. At the peak, I had over 50,000 items listed on my eBay store, selling over 100,000 items a year on eBay alone. 250 to 300 orders a day, tons of Just want to stop there. 250 to 300 orders a day. I'm thinking to myself about where I am with my business at the moment, and I'm really pushing to get around the 20 orders a day. I'm around 14 orders a day, roughly at the moment. Some days are better than others, but this is consistent. You know, if you sort of average out the tech was doing, say, 280, 290 as an average, if we look at in between. That is an incredible amount of orders. And you can only get there by listing an incredible amount of items. So you can't be expecting to list 10 items and sell 200, you know? So you've got to put the work in to do it. And tech demonstrates this as well. Multi orders, seven to 8,000. And there we go, look. Last 31 days, $175,000. 
Last seven days, 41,000. 7,000 day. And that is not a rare thing. You can see by the graph there, it's not like tech is having like a $1,000 day, a $2,000 day, a $500 day, and then like a 10,000, etc., etc. His graph is steady, it's consistent. And I think by niching down, hopefully in the future, that's where I want to get my graph to be. Instead of the whole up and down, up and down, I want it to be a steady flow of similar money every day. Then you can start actually working out what you're going to be making. You can kind of predict it and forecast it a bit more. Dollars a day in sales, two to three million dollars a year just on eBay. I also have a brick and mortar store and a pretty good sized whatnot operation and a large clothing wholesale business. All together selling well over a thousand items every single day, over five million dollars a year throughout the entire. Look at them packages as well, all of them ready to get collected. I just couldn't even imagine where I'd put them. They'd probably take up the whole of my house, to be fair, the downstairs part, but one day, that's the dream. It's the dream. I think it's uh, a lot of our dreams to actually get to the position where you don't know what to do with the amount of packages on a daily basis. Air machine across all avenues. I listed, shipped, responded to every single message and every single offer every single day for 15 years. I never took a day off, never missed a listing goal, sometimes working 20 hours a day, sleeping only two hours per night, waking up at four o'clock in the morning, hitting 55 thrift stores a week on the route, going to the flea market three days a week, listing hundreds of items every single day. And during that time, I also started and grew a few other businesses Tree that crew. all do well over a million dollars a year annually. That I started with eBay money. What tech was showing there actually is the real dedication and commitment to growing this, okay? So you're not gonna get this overnight. I think we all know that. But a lot of people when they first join the group kind of see it as techs on easy street and they kind of see it as, oh, it's easy for tech because he gets his stuff delivered to him. It's easy for tech because of X, Y, and Z. What he is showing there is the amount of work and years of graft and the continued graft he still does to actually get to this point. So if you want to get to the point now where tech is winding down the business, is able to enjoy holidays, enjoy life a bit more outside of the eBay sort of program, you've got to put the work in to do it. It's not just going to fall in your lap. Never sacrificed my family or any other priorities, but that's what it takes to be number one, and I enjoyed every second of it. So let me take you through my warehouse crib style and show you what it looks like inside a top 500 eBay store on the platform and the number one men's clothing store on the planet. So a big space, but not as big as I as, as I visualized, I'll be honest with you. But there we go, 10,000 square foot over one mile of racks. This is real. This is not Photoshop. This is not AI. This is not artificial intelligence and in our thumbnails of businesses that we wish we had. All of this is real. So in this portion of the warehouse, we have our men's shirts, our concert shirts, and our sports shirts, and everything is put away by category, by color, and then by date. This is the part that I wanted to see the most when watching this video. Tech has spoke about the way he stores items for years, and I've never been able to get my head around it i've never been able to visualize what he means and the fact that now he's going to show us how he does it it makes a lot more sense and it probably will do to you as well and over here we have our long sleeve shirts our button-up shirts our polos things like ralph Lauren, lacoste robert graham peter millar and we also have over 3,000 square feet of jackets as well so a lot of people ask how do you find an item one in fifty thousand that you sold and need to pick when you have no custom label and no SKU. And as I previously talked about, everything is put away by category, by color, by date. So we pull up the item that we need, and then we can see the date that it was listed, then we just have to know the category. So for this one, it's gonna be a men's shirt, listed on May 3rd, as you can see. We're gonna to go to the men's section, black, because it's a black shirt. And then we have placards that are separating every single date in 15 day intervals. So this would be May 1st, this would be May 15th, and this would be the last day of May. So since we need an item from May 3rd, probably gonna be one of these. We look through our little handful of items, and then we pick out the item that we need. We're gonna take it back to the computer, and we're gonna make sure that it's the exact same item that we need, 
And if so, take the hanger off, put it in the bin, and then we can take it over and print. It's such a smart system. It really is when he breaks it down that way. Now, for me personally, I have not got the space to store the items on the racks like that. So the way I do it is the Chris Daily Refinement box method system. Um, I will probably end up doing a video on how I store the items, a bit of detail about how that all works and how to consolidate as well. But that is the quickest way to pull items. It's clear how tech does it any quicker than anyone else. But for me, due to space, the, key, the box system works for me and that is super fast as well. Minimalistic as well, I'm, I'm picking that up a lot during this video. I mean, a lot of people with regards to laptops would get a desk riser or maybe a sit-stand desk to rise things up. Tech has simply turned over two bins, basically, to put the laptop on. It's nothing special. And I think what tech is showing here, it's all about being minimalistic. You don't need loads of money to do this operation. You can do it on the cheap, and tech has proved for many years you don't need the best high-end tech stuff to be able to do it. So, uh, yeah, it's really inspiring because I know when I go out and buy stuff, I always want the top of the range stuff. But this is kind of teaching me that, you know, low cost or no cost is the way to go. sure the customer gets the exact item that they purchased our defect remain low and there's no errors issues or mistakes on our end if you do a straight line down the middle of the table you'll see it's set up the exact same way on both sides same scale same computer same printer we have our boxes on the shelf below that we use for our multiple purchases or our bulk orders and then we also have our poly bags and then our padded flat rate envelopes for any package that is over one pound let's grab the item that we just pulled what i'm noticing here the second time i watched the video as well is how organized everything is even under the table there the way the boxes are organized and also how it's so symmetrical either side is exactly the same so you can have two workers packing the orders at the same time maybe one start from the bottom one start from the top and do it that way um, just makes it nice and easy and what i am picking up as well even the little paper stick on things on the wall here just talking about how much parcel costs are so you've got the padded flat rate which are used in the us and also the first class and it shows how much you need to be charging the customer it's just a little reminder and i think i need a few more of them around the shed when it comes to certain things just a little glance to kind of remind yourself around certain things um, but again these look like actually old poly mailers that tech just wrote on so again nothing fancy minimalistic that runs for the whole video. And we're going to look it up on the awaiting shipment stage. Nike shirt. And we're going to look for any... Just want to correct you, Tech, by the way, as well. It's not Nike, it's Nike, but... Um, yeah. Distinguishing features on the shirt that we can match up with the item to ensure that it's the correct one and we didn't make any sort of mistakes. So we have our logo, our size, our material. Once we confirmed it's the right one, we're going to fold it up nicely for the customer to ensure a good presentation when they open the package. We're going to put a thank you note inside of the package with a coupon code linking back to our store. The thank you note and coupon code is something I do not do at the moment. Um, let me know in the comments whether you guys do that. I'm thinking about implementing it when I do clothing and maybe doing a multi-buy coupon. So shop at my store, buy free items, save 30%, whatever it may be. So yeah, let me know in the comments whether you guys do do coupons, whether you send it out to the customer. And are you trying to get them onto your own website or are you trying to just get them to become a repeat customer? Enter the weight, print the label. Once the label's printed, we're gonna put it onto the poly bag. And then we're gonna drop it in the bin with the barcode up so it's easy for the driver to scan it. And that way our on-time delivery has no defects, no errors, and we aren't in jeopardy of falling below standard or having our eBay account in any sort of trouble. 
There we go, there's the reseller ruler that has been mentioned many a times. Um, currently not available in the UK to buy. Um, hopefully that changes in the future. Um, but when I do move house, I, I am gonna set up a flat lay system like Tech's got here. So at the moment I do the inverted flat lay on the board. But if I can have a flat lay that's raised up, up to sort of hip level, I think that's the quickest way to do it. Three photo setups there as well. And again, looking at the desk area, very, very, very minimalistic. There's no rubbish, there's no distractions on the desk. You've got the laptop, you've got a list of things there, which I'm guessing is probably where things are marked, etc. So I guess when it comes to the listing, you can kind of look at the item and say it's got a stain top left or whatever it may be. Uh, it looks like you've got a iPad potentially there or a tablet of some sort. Um, you've got the camera, a couple of memory cards of the camera, some sellotape, and that is literally it on the desk. Uh, I look at my desk now, even sitting in front of me, and it's completely cluttered. So, yeah, I need to get better at that. inside of your business. If a camera goes down, if a computer breaks, if a printer breaks, you should have backup systems where you can plug in the same item. You lose no time. You don't get sidetracked. You can complete your day successfully and then deal with the fire once everything is complete. I know this video has been a fire hose of information, so if there's anything specific that you would like to see that we do inside the business or anything around the warehouse, please drop a comment below and we'll be sure to make that video for you too. And now the part that everybody came to see. Photos done in 30 seconds. And if you do it exactly this way, this is the most repeatable, the most dependable, the most consistent, the safest, the least amount of defects, the most happy customers way to do eBay. And it's not just something that I could do. I am by no means a superhero. I'm a regular guy. Every single person that we've hired into the business is able to do listings in 30 seconds. My wife does it for her eBay store in less than 30 seconds. My son, when he was 12 years old, he was able to do it in 30 seconds. So if you want to start the clock, I'm going to go at a very slow pace and explain every single thing that I'm doing, and it will still be done in 30 Before Tech does as well, I just want to highlight something I've noticed in the bottom corner here. It's the Tech signature, and he set up on his video for a little subscribe button. And I do not know how to do this tech. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be asking you advice on how to do that. The little subscribe button in the corner there. That's something new to me. And I, uh, I just clocked it, a little signature. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's see if tech can do the photos in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So we have our first photo, the main photo, with a nice border. We have a close-up of the graphic. We're going to turn the shirt over and we're going to stage it nicely on the back. We're going to use our reseller ruler, which I invented about five years ago. And I sold tens of thousands of units to resellers across the world. We're going to take a nice profile photo, the pit to pit measurement, the length. Now we're going to take a photo of the tag. And that's it. Photo's done in 30 seconds. And if you want to see all of my processes, I do have them outlined in the Facebook group, including a video that shows how I list items in as little as 23 seconds. 30 seconds there, and tech was going at slow speed. He was doing it while talking to the camera, so um, mad. What I'm noticing as well watching this part, there's lots of the similar kind of clothing items or multi-quantity of the same item as well, which is interesting. Thinking about one mile of racks as well. Think about how long it takes to run a mile, for instance, and that's what tech has in there. Just a vast array of clothing. Um, yeah, I don't think I would ever be able to have anywhere big enough to do it that way. Maybe a warehouse one day. Um, but yeah, just the space in America is so different to what we've got in the UK.
everyone. Thank you for watching the video. I sincerely appreciate it. Anyone that's ever listened to the podcast, join the group, send me a message on Instagram. Super thankful. So um, please like, subscribe, drop a comment below on any type of content you want to see. We're going to do reselling related content. Go to the thrift, go to the flea market, find cool stuff. We're going to jump in the RV, go all the way across the country. So if you want to do meetups, you want us to stop by your operation, love to talk to people, love to talk to resellers. We're going to take you all the way around the world. So this, this channel will have everything. It's going to be awesome. We're going to try to bring you the best videos that we absolutely can. And I hope somebody can find one piece of information inside of the video that can help their business, help you save more time, make more money, build the business that you want to have, live the life that you want to live. So thank you again. Everybody be great. And in true Cribs fashion, you don't have to leave, but if you stay here, you gotta get to work. So we have items that need to be shipped, that never stops. We have to list, we have to photograph, we have to sort items. And there we are, tech's first video. I just wanna say, tech is doing so well on YouTube, naturally and expected. I think he hit 10,000 subscribers now. I think it was close to that after two or three days of being on YouTube, which is just incredible. Uh, the guy's a genius and he's worked hard to get to this position. It all comes from the hard work. So a couple of quick takeaways um, for me, I need to get some backup equipment. So I have one label printer, so I need to get a secondary label printer in case that breaks down. I don't want to be in the shops having to manually print the labels from the machines because their machines break all the time and I don't want to be scrambling around to try to drop a parcel. So plan of action, second label printer. Computer wise, I've got my Mac mini and also my Apple Mac where I have got a backup on that. So that's absolutely fine. Other things as well, photography wise, in the future, I think I am going to switch to the camera but my phone upgrade is due in a couple of months time. So I might get the new iPhone and then use this iPhone 13 for the business and actually have that down here charged all the time, ready to take photos. So I never have to, again, scramble around trying to find leads, trying to get the photo process done, etc. So there's a few changes. Another change for me as well. I want to become more minimalistic in what I do. This place at the moment is an absolute mess. There's stuff on the desk, stuff in every corner, I need to tidy it up because I think having a clean workspace will allow me to get things done quicker and more efficiently. On top of that, I need to spend some time sorting out the garages. So the clothing part of the system is working really nicely. The everything part is not working so nicely. And although I'm getting rid of the everything stuff at the moment, it's causing me a bit of a headache and it's a bit of a mess. So I need to spend some more time sorting out the garages. I just want to make life easier. I want to make every process a lot easier. I want to make it a lot tidier. And what I'm also going to do as well is start having a clear down at the end of the day, having stuff ready for me to list first thing in the morning. That way, when I come in, I haven't got to think about what I'm doing. It's a case of here's the pile of clothing or here's the pile of everything stuff, 20 in the pile, got to list that first thing. And that's what I do. Less thought needed, really, and more time thinking about other things, other ways to improve process and speed, etc. So, yeah, lots to take away from that. I should just go into watch Tech's video on his channel. I'll link it up here. Go and watch his video and watch it a number of times because every time I see it, I'm taking more things away. So final thing, just want to shout out Tech. Um, thank you for being such a good mentor. You and Chris have changed my life. You're changing my business. I'm so grateful for you both in the group. And uh, yeah, as Tech will say, keep being great. But I will say I will see you on the next one.